द लेजर इंटरफेरोमीटर द वर्किंग ऑफ लेजर इंटरफेरोमीटर इज लिटिल बिट डिफरेंट दैन द प्रीवियस टू इंटरफेरोमीटर्स दैट इज एन पी एल इंटरफेरोमीटर एंड पीटर एन पी एल गेज इंटरफेरोमीटर ओके सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस ओवर हियर सो द लेजर इंटरफेरोमीटर uses a laser beam of light which is a fixed unit okay and another unit is the moving unit which is a cube okay which is having a rectangular uh, block which is cut into uh, some triangular shape like this and <clears throat> which is known as this moving block is known as the corner cube okay and there are a uh, number of semi reflectors and photodiodes are installed in this position okay and the two outputs you can observe here there are two outputs given uh, sorry two inputs are given to the amplifier and the amplifier will give you the digital output okay or sometimes the output can be recorded with the help of uh, the monitor okay so this is a fixed unit you can see over here which is having a laser beam or laser setup over here so first of all consider the semi reflectors the first one is p the second reflector is q the third reflector is r and last fourth reflector is s reflector okay we are going to consider one path that is p q r s okay and second path is p s okay so these are the two important paths that we need to consider in the laser interferometers okay so let's move towards the description so the laser interferometer can be used for the measurements of small diameters as well as large displacements okay so using this laser interferometer we can uh, get the small diameters and large displacements also okay so this moving unit is operated with the help of a uh, knob so if we uh, rotate the knob so this moving unit will travel like this in the transverse or forward or backward motion okay and this complete setup is fixed over here okay the again amplifier and digital digital counters are the uh, these are the let us uh, display units so that's why these are also fixed one okay now understand the working of the laser interferometer okay so laser beam coming out of the laser uh, this uh, laser generator or laser beam is coming from the laser and it is uh, imparted on the first semi reflector that is the p semi reflector okay now this laser light first falls on the p reflector and it is partially reflected by 90 degree okay so the laser beam coming out of this laser will fall on the p and it gets deflected by 90 degree and it reaches to the second reflector that is s reflector okay so this one path is complete now now after getting reflected from s semi reflector it will go or uh, the input is provided to the photodiodes and first input is given to the amplifier okay so this input is given to the amplifier now we will see the second path of this uh, laser beam and that that path is the uh, second path that is from p to q then from q again it re gets reflected in 90 degree and reaches to the uh, next semi reflector that is r semi reflector or the this is known as the complete block is known as the corner cube okay and from this reflector it again comes towards the s semi reflectors 
and it again get recombined with the s semi reflector okay and this output from the s semi reflector is now given to the second photodiode okay are you getting this so this is the path of laser beam from p to q then q to r and r to s and again from s to the photodiode okay again some part of this uh, laser beam coming from the r it again coming towards s again it is passing towards the uh, this first semi photodiode and from the this path also some part or some light is again traveling to this second photodiode okay so this is the combination of first and second photodiodes okay now we have now taken two paths the first path is this pqrs and second path is from p to s okay and the outputs of these two paths that is pqrs path and ps paths those outputs are fed to this amplifier okay now here happens the next calculations so the calculations are what what calculations are there so this amplifier or the circuit inside the amplifier that will consider the two paths or lengths of two paths okay so what what exact calculation is there that we will discuss now if the difference between these two paths of lights okay what difference so difference of this first path pqrs minus ps okay so this difference if this difference is an odd number of half wavelength okay ye jo difference aa raha hai pqrs minus ps ka jo difference hai agar se ye difference odd number hai kis cheez ka odd number to half wavelength ka theek hai complete wavelength jo rehta hai ye dekho aisa rahega so this is the axis and this is the complete wavelength okay so this much is the half portion of the wavelength and this is another half portion of the wavelength okay if the odd number of half wavelength then the interference will occur at point s and the diode will show an output and that output will be minimum okay agar se ye odd number aa raha hai ye wavelength ka theek hai then it will show the uh, it will show it 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 occurs at this diode photodiode and that output will be a minimum okay or you can say it is the zero output okay and on the other hand if suppose the path difference is even now again we have to consider this pqrs minus ps okay if this path difference comes positive oh sorry it comes an even number of half of the wavelength theek hai ye jo kuch bhi wavelength hai uska agar se even number aata hai then we can say that or the amplifier calculates it as or the amplifier will get the reading from this photodiodes as a maximum reading okay and that's why the output becomes maximum okay so each time the moving slide is displayed by the quarter of the so this moving slide it will be it will uh, get displaced by the quarter of the wavelength okay and the path difference that is pqrs minus ps becomes half of wavelength okay and the output of the photodiode also changes from maximum to minimum or minimum to maximum okay abhi yahan pe quarter or half le rahe hain hum to uski jagah pe aap half aur full bhi le sakte ho theek hai if for example agar se main ye pura statement aur ek bar bolta hu to if the moving slide is displayed by half wavelength then the path difference that is pqrs minus ps becomes full of a wavelength okay and that output from photodiode 
will also change from maximum to minimum or minimum to maximum okay so this is the working of the laser interferometer uh, i will show you one uh, video regarding this okay so how exactly uh, the laser interferometer works okay so let's these are the uh, slides that I, I have explained you in the in the in the in this video okay so you can take these slides for notes purpose okay so thank you very much for watching this video if you have any doubts please let me know into the comment box